Hey y'all, it's me, James. I'm back again. And today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to talk about a new bug that I got. And now this bug, which is a bowl mug, and it's not listed that way. That's just what I call it because, um, well, I wanted something that had the best of both worlds of what Lady C Creation makes. Um, thoughts? Well, first thing is, has a brush rest or thumb notch, depending on how many different ways you want to hold it. I'm going to go ahead and empty the water out. Um, form. It's got a nice handle to it. For me, it comfortably fits the first couple of knuckles for two fingers. It can be like that, like that. Uh, so form-wise, it does what I wanted. It's wide enough to go ahead and spin and whip creams. Um, I would have preferred it to be just a little bit wider this way, probably about another uh, inch. So diameter-wise, a little bit more. But that's uh, that's after you kind of use it a little bit and you're like, oh, okay, I just received it today, but I did a lather in it earlier and I took a big old fat chubby and I just wanted to see what it would feel like. Um, for most people, I think it'll function fine. Um, it's just with my abnormal lathering patterns of when I like to go back and forth rather than uh, in a circular motion all the time on the knot hair. Uh, so I like to go in a circle, but I also like to go back and forth. Um, so that's not Lady C's fault or anything on her. It's just something after the fact when you're like, hmm, yeah, it probably needed to be a little bit wider. But where this really comes into its own is just the shape itself, even though diameter wise it is a little smaller than what I was uh, thinking. Um, the function of it being a mug slash bowl, uh, my bug, is terrific. And so the ability to hold it in different ways, uh, the ability to let your brush be there and just have something to keep it in place, construction wise it has a very heavy base to it. Uh, as a matter of fact I was kind of shocked when I was holding it compared to the uh, TSN Bill Bowl, they're almost the same weight. Now most of the weight for this one seems to be here and here, but it still pretty good. Uh, has the ridges on the inside, a little swirly pattern. The finish, look at this glaze guys, I mean that's an awesome glaze, fantastic job. Um, I mean, when I don't have it all smudged, and I took a picture of it earlier, you could see <laughs> the image of what it was resting on. So nice, clean, uh, really loving it. Thank you so much, uh, Songwin. You need to give Lady C a great big hug for me because I'm more than satisfied with it. Just because I have a little critical element doesn't mean that I don't appreciate it and love it. It's just something because of how I tend to go back and forth and how I like to jitter it like that rather than in a swirl motion. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab the bill bowl just to kind of give you a size differential. Okay, so here's this one. It's going to be kind of hard. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it in the frame. And here's this one. So, they're pretty much the same type of build and almost the same depth. Pretty close. Uh, I like this one because it opens up more rather uh, 
this is still a great one as well but the thing that I didn't like about it is how this part kind of flutes back in up near the top and for me I'd much rather get to it and be able to kind of just get right there this one has good function too um, but again for the way that I like to lather I'm really whacking sometimes on this one when I'm going back and forth because of how it comes back in uh, whereas on this one not nearly as much even though overall base to base now on the base side it's not quite as wide but another great piece I'm going to have to my collection I'll be right back I'm going to place this back alright I'm back alright so for today I'm going to be using the Outdoorsman from Knockout Shave it's a great scent you guys haven't tried this particular scent oh, it's my uh, one of my top favorite scents out of soaps and creams that I own uh, if you're curious about more of what it's like go ahead and go to uh, if you got the time go to the video that I did for it uh, check that out against what he has at the website and kind of see if it's something that would interest you. I find it manly but with just a little bit of sweetness to it. Alright, so I'm going to take that much cream put that in there the brush was soaking before I emptied out the water here earlier in the video. Smogate 20, one of my be, becoming one of my favorite uh, brushes, just all around, um, just very excellent. And of course, for me, I love that natural blonde. Okay, here we go. It was just a little bit of water that I had inside of the brush that I didn't shake all the way out or squeeze out. forms very well. Uh, like the ridges, the ridges uh, still have kind of a slight roughness to them uh, on the inner ring parts that are in there. And so because of that, again, for my bore brushes, um, I think to me somehow that seems like it probably aids in the splitting of the tips of course I don't think there was any way to prove that but alright so as you can see the brush generating plenty of lather there the bowls able to hold it uh, love being able to just look in here and see what's going on and it's all there I mean, very lovely so that's the Samo 820 in action in my Lady C Creations bug, my bowl mug. 
and uh, yeah, keeping it short. I'm gonna go ahead and shave, but just wanted to share with you my new wet shaving toy. And thank you for watching.